This morning, as Ukraine was hit by another Russian drone strike, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov accepting that what Russia has called a special military operation is now more than that. It, it is a war now. It is a war, of course. It is a war. It is a hybrid war that uh, actually the United States is, is orchestrating against our country. He says Russia is open to talks with Washington, but on its terms. The world is less safe than it used to be before our dialogue was shut down. The message is the fighting continues. Of course, yes. Keep fighting. Yes. Listen, America is strongly involved in this conflict. Peskov speaking after President Putin's uncompromising message on Ukraine. The peace will come when we reach our goals. This morning, the whereabouts of jailed opposition leader Alexei Navalny still unknown. The Kremlin critics' lawyers saying a Russian court confirmed he was no longer in the penal facility where he had been serving his sentence. Uh, we simply don't know. It's not our authority of presidential administration to monitor uh, the movements of prisoners. President Putin said talks are possible, though not easy, over detained Americans Paul Whelan and Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, who the U.S. says are falsely accused of espionage. They are in custody. They are not hostages. Russia's militarization is inescapable. An ice rink outside Moscow features a fighter jet and a former Soviet rocket. Millions visiting an expo that includes the history of the Soviet nuclear program. We are proud of it. It's all history. Uh, we are a great country. That's the explosion yeah, okay. of a nuclear test. Yeah. The people are watching down there. Independent polls say around half of Russians do want peace talks, but not at any cost. Meanwhile, as President Zelensky battles for more money from Washington, I asked Dmitry Peskov, uh, Craig, uh, whether President Putin would like to see a change in the White House. He told me, I have no doubt that President Putin would like to see someone who is more constructive to our country. Of course, pres uh, former President Trump has said that he would solve the Ukraine crisis in a day. Dmitry Peskov saying it's too complicated to solve in one day. Craig? Keir Simmons for us once again in Moscow. Keir, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.